Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Joe versus Moro here on Blistering Sands. We have Moro spawning as the Red Terran player over here on the south side. Meanwhile, we have Joe spawning as the Purple Protoss over here on the north side. This replay is brought to you by LUcomputers.com, or this shoutcast, excuse me. Uh, go ahead and check out their website. They have a link for StarCraft 2 tested computers on the top right hand side. Go ahead and give it a click if you're in the market for a new computer. Anyways, Moro spawning as this red Terran player most likely going to open up and should be putting on a supply depot soon. Same thing with Joe. Now, Blistering Sands is a pretty common 1v1 map, only two spawning locations if you do not already know. So both players already know where the other person is spawning. Joe now dropping down that pylon and going to go ahead and bring out an early scout. So Joe really wanting to make sure that there's no proxy rush or any type of cheese strategy, wanting to make sure that there is no... And that there, there's no early barracks or and no early reaper harassment that he'll have to deal with. Same thing with Moro. Moro moving out, making sure that there is no extra gateway, no no proxy pylon down here with gateways being built here and here for a very very early rush as well. Moro nearing completion on this first supply depot, most likely going to follow it up with a barracks. Now gonna, no, he's going to go ahead and do a little bit of scouting, make sure that there is no proxy pylons down here. So both players really concerned about cheese in general. Moro may take some damage on this SCV as Joe back over here and now coming in. So Joe uh, now stuck in between two SCVs as one of those uh, SCVs now going to go ahead and lay down that barracks there. So and we have Joe just running around on the inside of the space. We, he may try to do us an assimilator block, um, a gas block here, but no, it does not look like it. Just wanting to make sure that there is no, he wants to see the timing of that refinery. If there is an early refinery, he wants to make sure that he's able to just um, bring it or or to d deal with it and make sure that there is no early um, Reaper. In comes this, another SCV. SCV may, no, unable to trap Joe's probe back over here as we now have a gateway being produced back at home. So, and no assimilator yet. So Joe may, may be trying to go for just a double gateway ability. No, finally getting that assimilator. So assimilator now going up. We should see a cybernetics core being completed the instant that gateway is completed. Still, barracks nearly completed. We should have a marine in just a moment, as this SC or the, as this probe continuing to just do plenty of scouting. Barracks now being completed and laid down, so that probe is in fact trapped on this inside. However, Moro does not have a single or uh, one refinery yet. So without one refinery, he's going to be stuck to barracks play for quite some time. And as a Protoss player, you just have to be happy to see that. No gas really means that you're in a lot of trouble. And um, as as um, Zealot will just be able to push on through and deal a lot of damage as Zealots are much stronger mineral per mineral against a Marine. Cybernax Core now coming into play as well as a Zealot's being trained up. Pi um, probe sitting over here, not much to really talk about going on as a Marine now going to be able to shake down this probe with a Gauss rifle, trying to hide it. Will he be able to? Oh, oh, was almost able to hide it, and now down goes that probe again. So, Marine getting that one early kill as Moro now setting up an early expansion. So, it is going to be an early expansion, and a lot of Protoss players have been using or have been really been expand or abusing this early expansion from, from what I've seen in recent replays as. A Protoss player can easily just go to Stalkers, put a lot of pressure on this back door, and because the gas was so late, unless the Terran player goes a lot of or uses a lot of missile turrets, will be exposed to a Dark Templar rush. So all Joe needs to do is get and get the get the Templar archives. Sorry, yeah. Wanted to say Citadel of a Dune for a second. Yeah, all he really needs to do is because sorry, the Twilight Council get the Twilight Council, and then go ahead and just press in with that Dark Shrine. Probe now attacking against an SCV and Marines coming in to join in on this fight as we now have a Robo Bay coming in. So Joe getting the Robo Bay and we'll see if he trades for an early observer or tries to go for an early immortal. Joe has a fairly small army only sitting at one stalker and one zealot at this time against the static defense Moro with one with one bunker with four Marines and should be getting some additional units as well, get, getting him training up more Marines and now get, uh, finishing up that command center. Really, we have not seen a factory yet. So getting two extra barracks and no tech labs on any of these barracks. I spoke too soon as a tech lab now going down for Moro. Moro should be getting some Marauders in just a moment. So we may, this uh, gameplay may be a mass Marauder gameplay as well as SCVs are gonna go ahead and head over to this low ground command center now being upgraded to an orbital command. So Orbital Command should be able to um, 
uh, just mine some additional minerals as well as we may go into a three racks mass marauder strategy stim pack being researched along with concussive shells most likely as that that would be the stronger option or are we going to start seeing some more marines the barracks now being completed so yeah this is going to be a marauder marine marine strategy instead and, and this will be all off of one gateway uh, or sorry one refinery I am very tired, but really Joe doing a great job and foreseeing this whole entire strategy with mass infantry and now getting the robotic support bay. So with that robotic support bay, it will be fairly difficult for Moro to really counter those Colossus, especially if those Colossus have the extended thermal lance range. And so with that robotic support bay coming in, we should see in just a moment. Colossus being trained up. Is he saving Chrono Boost? Yes, he is saving some Chrono Boost for that Colossus. Doesn't have enough gas to train up the extended thermal lance range and that Colossus just quite yet. Army sizes, Moro seen at 400 versus Joe's 275. And how will this all work? More Zealots being trained up, Chrono boosting that Nexus. And now we should, yes, see that Colossus come in. Extended thermal lance range not being researched just quite yet as more Zealots now being warped in. Uh, three gateways, one robo robotics for sort robotics facility and a robotics bay now and with no with no upgrade okay get some rest get some rest proto stalker now pressing pressuring on this back door back over here marauders and marines perhaps trying to do a little bit of a push that is a very very small army for um, such a late stage in this game about seven minutes into this game and all he really has is marines and marauders composing of 600 minerals he does have a fairly strong um, strong harvesting count and sitting at 1100 minerals a minute so as long as he has enough production he will be able to produce a lot of units and now getting additional tech labs so going into five tech labs now and we we should be seeing an additional refinery as well yeah so more refineries coming into play so those mass refineries we are going to see mass marauders and as long as joe yeah joe does catch sight of all of these barracks really needs to start training more colossus one colossus is not going to be enough that extended thermal lance range now being researched so those colossus will have a range of nine which is absolutely critical in this fight but he does not have any forge for any additional weapons upgrade and no uh, and no zealot charge now in comes another colossus so a second colossus um, coming in so two colossi with zealots with zealots and stalkers so this should be a f uh, should be a fairly strong push coming in from both sides will joe be able to push in with this army zealots colossus and stalkers or colossi and stalker versus marines and marauders and look, taking a look at the production tab we have five marauders being trained up so that is a very very massive marauder army and you're going to see um, all of a sudden moro is going to jump up in in army size very very quickly as he's producing so many marauders off of five barracks and should be able to continue to produce more fairly easily as well since marauders only cost 25 gas marauders now taking down their own back door as joe does have a proxy pylon sitting over here is he going to warp in more units yeah more sentries now being warped in here a sentry and a and a zealot the extended thermal lance range not quite yet completed only a range of six and now just completed so we have a range of nine on these colossus is it really going to work out marauders and marines and as these units now moving on in the one colossus however getting stuck in the back in the perfect positioning if that force field was actually a little bit better but down goes one colossus marauders now chasing down a second colossus and this is a really, really bad fight. Moro with that perfect positioning, now kiting more of those zealots. And you can see, as those as those marauders continue to kite, more and more of those zealots are just going to be torn apart. Marauders now coming in as well, kiting those units. And wow, this is going to be a very, very difficult fight for Joe. The concussive shells do not work on that Colossus, but still, Moro just simply destroying this marauder uh, uh, with, with those marauders, taking down stalkers. And now, taking a look at the armor size, we, uh, army size, we only have an immortal being trained up. These warp gates should be warping in some more zealots as well and really try to abuse that cooldown on those warp gates. And Moro, with that 900 mineral army, it, it can just walk on in with these eight or with these nine marauders and pr perhaps win the game. A quick scanner sweep reveals only zealots. And unless Joe is able to come back in, yeah, Joe calls the GG, knows that there is more Marauders coming in, and Joe says Kulos Ravine is going to be the next game. So Moro and taking this game away from Joe, perfect positioning on these Marauders here, and really just encircling 
and that those Colossus having them, and they really had nowhere to run and nowhere to hide, unable to back out. And because of that, that first Colossus was taken down so easily. Colossus are better in numbers against mass infantry, able to get that use of that extended extended thermal lance range and extra splash damage to take down those units. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this replay brought to you by LUComputers.com. Hope to see you guys on Battle.net, and we are still all waiting for July 27th.